I get a lot of suggestions for the witch RPG I'm working on called Mana Valley. Some of them are good and some of them are, well, sometimes even the worst ideas end up being the best. Just look at how many pop rock packets I was able to fit into this fanny pack. And since this thing is proof that even bad ideas can become good ideas, I dumped all of your suggestions into this potion and it will randomly select them until we run out of juice. Let's go. Add a command that will crash everyone's game. I hope this isn't foreshadowing. So yeah, now you can type Fregore into the console to overload your computer and crash the game. Fun. Make the broom cost more mana the higher the player goes. This was the most suggested thing on the broom flying video, so it was bound to get picked. And it's honestly a great idea to help limit how overpowered flying is. So yeah, now the higher the player goes from the ground, the more mana gets consumed. That means that it's smarter to fly closer to the ground, but it also takes a little bit more skill. And just as a side note, there's something really satisfying about cruising along the terrain like this. Add shares. I think it's cheese. Add cheese. There's actually already cheese in the game but it was just a prop that I could place around the environment. So I made it into an item that we can loot from enemies or buy from shops. But what should the cheese do? Add a fart spell. <laughs> oh boy. I'm not sure if this was meant to be a spell that shoots farts or a spell that makes someone fart. And I also can't believe I'm thinking about this. I guess you can kind of already shoot a fart spell at someone if you eat too much of the cheese we just added. So let's add a spell you can cast on other NPCs to make them fart. Give us a way to support you. There's now a Patreon where you can support the channel and Mana Valley. There's a lot of work going into the game that doesn't make it into these videos, so that'll be where I keep you guys up to date on that kind of stuff. And don't worry, I know that a lot of people can't support that way, so just watching this video and sharing it goes a long way too. Add a monkey. What? It says add a cat. Oh, well, yeah, uh, you know, just trying to get my own suggestion into the game. Okay, so add a cat. Obviously, this was a must for a witch game. I modeled a chibi style cat, whatever that means, and then painfully tweaked animations. But now there's a cat in the game that will follow the player around. I'm thinking you'll be able to buy pets from a store and perhaps they'll give you some kind of buff or fight by your side. Add day and night. After a lot of fiddling around, I was able to implement this into the game. But when the lighting is constantly changing, it's difficult to get it to look good all the time. To solve this, I made the transitions between day and night fairly quick. Make the game open world. Despite not wanting to do this at first, I've actually already done it. See how it goes as the game develops, but the world is now roughly the size of a Fortnite map and parts of it load in as you move around. Can you become an animal? This is more of a question than a suggestion, but I'll take it as a become animals. So let's just yoink the cat from earlier, do a little hocus pocus, and presto, you're a cat. I think it could be neat to allow the player to consume a potion that turns them into a cat for a period of time. Maybe then they could explore different areas they can't get to otherwise. Add the name Frankenstein. I added all of these names to the list for the character creation menu. It may have also not been clear in the video when I talked about this, but you can also name your character whatever you want. These are just randomly generated names in case you want to roll the dice. The fog is here. I'm pretty sure this suggestion was in relation to me not wanting to make an open world game, and well, now the game is open world. But to mask chunks that are far off, fog is still a great solution. And it's pretty much as easy as just clicking this button. And now that there's fog, we've obviously got to hit the fog horn. Okay, I'm sorry. Change the gradient of the trees. 
This has been bugging me too, so thanks for pointing it out. Just move this slider, and there we go. It's so nice when things are this easy. Wait, what the? Add chopping trees. I added this to the game a long time ago and then left it alone because I thought it would be really bad for performance. But I thought of a way that should fix that. So now it's back. And now it sticks. Add emotes. I didn't implement this fully because I'm actually not sure where you'd stop and I ran into an issue that is annoying to fix. But now at least there's a way for me to control character facial expressions and play whole emotes. Add a pew. Oh, well, it looks like our brew is empty, so we'll have to collect some more ingredients for our spell. In the meantime, if you have suggestions, leave them in the comments and I'll implement the ones with the most likes next time. While our witch RPGs out of their mind in the background, I'd like to thank our Zod tier Patreon supporter, Jokester. You're the bubbling green potion that gets bottled and consumed to give this channel life.